Now, a family of a man who was hit by a stray bullet allegedly fired by the police during last month's demonstration by some residents of Wa wants the Interior Minister to independently investigate the issue. 14 year Ibrahim Afiz was returning from the mosque when he was shot in the left shin and rushed to the Upper West Regional Hospital where the leg was later amputated. Father of the victim, Ibrahim Salia Firibu, says that they feel neglected. Rafik Salam reports from Wa. On September 16, 2022, 14-year-old primary sex pupil Ibrahim Mafiz had closed from the mocks for Friday prayers when he bumped into sea of RDU demonstrators protesting about the suspected ritual murders of 10 persons in the war municipality. The demonstration turned violent after the Arid youth allegedly broke into some stores owned by some West African nationals forcing the police to fire gun swords to ward them off from the area. Hafiz was caught in the melee and in an attempt to cross the road to safety, he was hit by a stray bullet allegedly fired by the police stationed at the Gomunti Junction. The Wakabanya model primary sex pupil was rushed to the Apostle Hospital for medical treatment. The police and were firing one shots. When I got to the scene, I tried to cross to the other side. I was gunned down by a stray bullet. I became unconscious and later woke up at the hospital. Medical director of the Upper West Region Hospital, Dr. Robert Amesia, painted a mental picture of the condition that a fees was brought to the facility. Two punctured wounds that communicated to each other. Um, one on, on the anterior part, that's the front, a smaller one. There was another one at the posterior part, which is the back, a bigger one. But during the surgical exploration, we realized that those two wounds were connected. I cannot for certain say it was a bullet, but I'm very sure that it was a measles wound because it's, it's something that communicated. It means that it entered from one end, most probably the front, and exited at the other end. Initially, they thought they could save the leg and mounted an external fixator, but the plan fell through. Uh, unfortunately, we were unable to, and uh, the leg became gangrenous, literally meaning that uh, he died of so we had to subsequently amputate it below knee. Uh, he has since been in the ward, uh, being cared for the wound that uh, he sustained after the amputation. And uh, when the wound heals, he's properly rehabilitated so that he can acquire an artificial limb. Uh, our clinical psychologist has been talking to him because if you have two limbs and you wake up one day and one is not there, that is something that is not easy for you to, you know, accept. So the clinical psychologist has also been talking with him. At bedside of a feast, eyes close family members, including his parents. They cannot pinpoint exactly as to who fired a gun, but they can say without any equivocation, it was fired by the police. We can say he was shot by the police because none of the demonstrators was killed. We can say he was shot by the police because none of the demonstrators was killed. We can say he was shot by the police because none of the demonstrators was killed. We can say he was shot by the police because none of the demonstrators was killed. Advocating for an independent committee to investigate on the issue and the persons found culpable be made to face justice. That's what I will want to happen is that it has been far too many in such instances of police using uh, bullets rough rough. So I would like them to actually come in and they investigate it and let us adequately be compensated for this wrong because there are too many of such things happening in the country. The responsibility of footing the medical bills has been on the shoulders of the parents, a huge drain on their irregular source of income. 
his father, Ibrahim Saleh Ferbo, is a mason and the mother, Officer Ibrahim, is a petty trader at the Wadeli market. They have since paid over 5,000 Ghana cities for the medical bills. It is the wish of Hafiz and his father that the former should be supported to acquire an artificial limb and continue with his education. If they could help by giving scholarship package to him to continue his education and also help acquire prosthetic legs and his movement. Ever since Afiz was hospitalized leading to the amputation of his leg, he has not gotten a single visit from the duty bearers in the region. They felt neglected and left to go through this ordeal alone. The parents of Ibrahim Hafiz are saying that they would like to know what actually transpired on that fateful day and would like an investigation to be conducted by the Interior Ministry or the government so that they will know the proof or otherwise of the matter. It is only when the truth is told that they will be at peace with their God. Reporting for J News, Rafik Salam. Wow.